What's up guys, OJ here, welcome back to another video and I just got done playing a ton of Mario Strikers Battle League on the Nintendo Switch and sorry if the editing isn't all up to snuff with all the different type of things that I'm talking about. I just really wanted to get my first raw impressions of the full game because I went through quite a bit of stuff with it. I played online with pairing up with randoms or against randoms i tested out some of the league stuff although everything isn't quite ready to go for that because they play in season so the first league season starts in about nine days from the time that i'm recording this video um, i play 2v2s i kind of know the ins and outs i spoke with my good friend party man about this game and we're going to have a separate discussion talking about other things and how he feels it compares because he's a mario strikers champion this guy's been playing him since he was little so he knows it in and out so we're going to go ahead and get into that in a separate discussion video but in this video i wanted to give my big first impressions what the game does extremely well what it doesn't do so well and kind of how i feel and where this could go from here but before we get into anything please make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're someone new and click that notification bell to get my videos first now first and foremost let's talk about what this game nails so the presentation i think that the like menus and fonts and the style of the game and the music and the characters and the animations all of that stuff is really cool and well done. It looks great on the Switch. It runs great on the Switch. You know, it's 1080p or the visuals are nice and crisp. It's 60 frames per second. Everything is smooth and works really well. The controls are spot on. Now, it does take a bit of time to get used to the craziness on screen and finding where your character is and making sure that you can do your slide tackles and all the different things. But once you get through the tutorial, once you start kind of playing around a little bit and messing around with the controls and kind of doing the passing and getting everything down, you really start to get a feel for the game and the potential that it has and that's really where this game kind of shines is that it's addictive with the nature once you start learning how to play the game it can seem overwhelming at first but for those who like the competitive drive the competitive play mario strikers battle league is going to scratch that itch and you're going to want to keep playing and playing and playing heck i had to pull myself off of it after playing for a number of hours with some of my other friends um, on YouTube and everything. And then I played for like another hour plus with Party Man, one of the elite ninja here on my channel. So I had to literally pull myself off from playing the game because it's that fun. And I'm a competitive gamer when it comes to these type of games. I think that soccer out of all of the different sports that we have for the Mario games. This one is just the most fun. It's aggressive, it's fast, it's customizable. You can change up with the gear and everything. It's a lot of fun to kind of go through and get that. And speaking of the gear and changing up, you have some cup battles that you can do single player. You go through some tournaments, double elimination style, and you can get a bunch of coins. Then you can use those coins to change up your gear. And then of course you can use that gear to customize your character further and how you wanna use that character. If you want more technique or more shooting or more defense or strength, it's all right there for you. And as you're playing on the field, you can truly feel the tweaks. You can feel kind of what a good player does, the passing, the slide tackling, the juking out of people, the item usage. I mean, there's so much depth and strategy that's layered onto this game that it becomes super fun to pass, to shoot, and to pick your characters strategically in this game, like how much defense you want, big bruisers, people that can do a lot of damage, can take a couple hits or a slide tackle or so. So I do love all of that aspect with the game. Now, when it comes to the online play, once you get connections that are solid, it runs good. I mean, there are some laggy people out there that might have a bad connection or two, but for the most part, I ran into some pretty good matches. And when I was playing against my friends on YouTube that all have streamer internet, obviously things were pretty much perfect. There was no issues whatsoever. And when I was playing with my friend Party Man, his internet was good. And when we played against other people, it's dependent on their internet. But we typically had solid matches with some laggy matches here and there. So overall, it wasn't bad when it comes to that. And I do 
love the controls. I love the presentation, like I said. I love the gameplay. It's fast and it's just really good to play. But there are some pretty fatal flaws. There are some big flaws where I can see where people are coming from and myself included when it comes down to it. Now, I do want to preface this by saying that I'm one of those people with Mario Strikers and with the Mario sports games in general, I never really sat there and wanted to play them single player for 5 million hours and shoot you know, soccer balls through like a mini hoop or something like that. I've never been that type of person or knock tennis balls through like different birdos or whatever, whatever you do in some of these mini games and stuff like that. I've never been that type of person. So for me, I'm not really worried about that. The cup battles and playing and earning money to get the gear was fine for me, but I understand now now through playing and speaking with Party Man, which we're going to discuss more a bit later when we have him on, I understand where some people are coming from with the content in the game and how that can be a pretty major issue. Not as big for me as I'm someone that wants to play online and be competitive, but I can understand for people that maybe have bad internet, can't play as well, and they needed some, or they want some single player content or more single player content in there than the cut battles or just playing against the CPU for the most part, right? Because that's really all there is to do when it comes to that or just local play against your friend or something so there's that but probably a bigger issue to me outside of of course only having 10 characters and compared to previous mario strikers games that's obviously a lot less and they're going to be updating it as they go along but i think the biggest issue is the fact that you can't go like team up with four other people and then go online and play against four other people now, it is possible to get four on four co-op online, but that other person has to be on the same system. So it can't be eight separate people with eight separate switches all playing online at the same time. It's going to be four for the most part. And that's how you get the eight players co-op that you would want. Two on each system, two on each system, two, two. So then that would be eight. So that's the way that you can get it. So you'd have to have people pair up or otherwise it's just going to be 2v2s with online. Now you'll still have all four of your characters, but you're only going to be able to pair up with one other person. And I think that's a big flaw. Now, as I'm playing through and I can see maybe why that's happening because the online connections, I think that it was probably tested and it didn't work very well. That's what I'm guessing because they do allow you to do co-op with it. So it's not like it wasn't an option or even thought about because that's in there. However, you can't do it online. And I think that's a big flaw considering that they're touting having clubs and having 20 people join your club and all that. You have less people to be able to play per a club match if you can't bring in at least four different people for that. So it just makes the rotation less. It makes things a little bit like a bummer. So you can't go in with the whole squad and everybody be working together in that type of way. So that's probably the biggest issue with this game right now at this point. And, you know, I've heard people talk about, oh, like the characters or the stages or the items or whatever the case is. And those are definitely issues too. Like I can see that as well. But I think that the thing with this game is that what people were maybe thinking, although Nintendo never stated it, they never said that you could, but people I think were under the impression that you would be able to do that. And I think I was too, heck yeah, I think I was as well. So that is definitely a bummer with the game. Now it doesn't overall take away from how fun the game can be when you're in there and you're playing the controls, the mechanics, the depth, the gameplay, like all that is still solid, but it's a bit of a bummer that you can't experience that with three other people in your club matches as clubs are one of the big focus of this whole online and of this game in the first place, but you can only go in with two people at a time there. So that's a problem. Now, when it comes to the updates that they're going to do, I can see how, once again, that can get people a little bit peeved on that one because right now, 10 characters, um, a handful of stages, I think like five, six stages, something like that. They've got a good amount of gear between like the headgear and the hands and the legs and the chest pieces or chest plates and all that. So the amount of gear is solid and the balance definitely would be affected quite a bit if they added like, let's just say 10 more characters like the previous games have. Well, y'all have gear. So then you have to add a bunch more gear and a bunch more things. So I can understand how that could be a balancing thing. But yeah, obviously it would have been nice if there was a bit more 
at launch. Now, I only use Rosalina and Peach, and anybody can pick whatever else they want on my team, but I can understand once again for people on that. So there's some really good things about this. Metacritic scores like 75-ish or so, and right now, before I get into the clubs and all that, I can see how, yeah, that's right around what it is. I mean, it's a solid game. It's a good game. It has some good core things in there, but there are some issues that are definitely in there. And I don't think that adding some update is going to fix what I talked about with the four on four and having that. That's something that was probably tested and maybe didn't work. I would be surprised if they were actually able to put that in in some way, shape, or form, because some people were asking, well, is it going to be like, where well, there's DLC, where they add that in as a new mode? And I'm thinking, maybe, but probably not. They're probably gonna just focus on stages and maybe some new items or new gear and characters. I think that's gonna be the focus and maybe like a few new modes or a new mode or two within what they're already doing with like the club battles and all of that, but we'll see. We'll see what they do. But right now, like I said, I think that it's a solid game with a few big flaws here and there, but can still be extremely addictive, can still be extremely fun to play with a friend, especially if you just wanna play co-op with a buddy, you guys go in and see what you can do. That's still really fun as you guys get one more other character a piece. And if you have good synergy with that person, you can really start raking out some wins and having fun and scoring and just doing a good job. So I do feel like there is a lot of fun to be had, but there's definitely some errors in terms of how this game was kind of constructed and put together based on how or the focus of the clubs and not being able to take advantage of that with the online multiplayer. So what are your thoughts when it comes to Mario Strikers Battle League? Like I said, I put a number of hours in, I think four or five hours plus already at this point, and I do plan on playing more and playing this a lot more than the tennis and more than golf because I think soccer is just faster, it's more fun, you know, it's just better. I think that this game is just better from a core gameplay mechanic standpoint than tennis and golf and it's just faster paced so I think it fits for better multiplayer sessions but at the same time it still has those errors that I talked about. But I do plan on playing like the club battles and uh, the league stuff that they're doing. I do plan on doing all that because that looks like it's going to be a ton of fun. So overall, what do you guys think about it? For those who have played, let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're someone new. Click that notification bell, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.